Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the second episode of how to get better at Fortnite mobile series. And before anyone say anything, I know that it took me almost 9 months to upload the second episode. And if you're the one who were actually waiting for the episode 2, then I'm really really sorry about that. Do me a favor, shut the f*** up. Yeah, I totally deserve that. But the good thing is I'm back with the episode 2 and now, without wasting any more time, let's get straight into today's video. So in the first episode, we learned about all the basic stuff that a player should know if you're just starting off Fortnite mobile. So I'm not gonna go into all those previous stuff. If you wanna know about the basics or if you haven't watched my previous episode, then I highly suggest you to do that because it's a series and you really don't wanna miss the first part. Link to that video will be in the description and in the i button as well. So for the rest of us, let's move on. So in this second episode, we'll learn about how you can improve your aim, especially the close range aim. We'll also learn about how you can improve your mechanics in Fortnite. Also, I will share with you guys some building slash editing tips and tricks, plus some more useful stuff that will help you improve at this game. But before starting it all, I just want to clarify that I'm not a professional or a competitive mobile player. I'm just a casual player playing Fortnite mobile for fun and I will be teaching you guys with my almost 3 years of experience in Fortnite. So now if everything's clear, let's right hop into it. Okay, so how do we improve our aim in Fortnite Mobile? The short answer to this question is by playing more. And honestly, I'm not confident with my aim most of the time because I haven't put in hours in this game recently. Especially because of my college and other projects. Like, it's been really tough for me to grind Fortnite. But there definitely is a method which will help us improve our aim and also let us have fun during the process. And it's none other than the Panville Headshot Only Creative Map. The only way you can kill players in this creative map is by hitting 200 pumps only. So it definitely helps us in tracking opponents and it also trains our mind to always go for the head. It drastically improves our aim and also is fun to play at the same time. In this map you can not only just practice your aim but you can also practice your mechanics. You can go crazy with the builds and do various edit courses and at the end finish a kill. This map is so much fun to play and I highly recommend you guys to check this map out if you haven't already. The map code is in the screen right now so make sure to note it down or just take a screenshot. What I personally recommend to you guys is to hop into this map for 10 to 15 minutes or even 30 minutes each and every single day for 1 or 2 weeks. And you will see noticeable difference in your shotgun aim. But in order to have a good and consistent aim, we need a perfect sensitivity for us. And I very well know the struggle of finding a perfect sensitivity. And if you are the one who is still struggling to find the perfect settings for you, then I'm here to help you. The first mistake we do while choosing our sensitivity is we copy someone else's settings. It may work for some people but for most, it's not a good idea. Firstly, the sensitivity and settings in Fortnite mobile highly differs with various refresh rates, screen resolution, the DPI of your screen and even the touch sampling rate. So if you're thinking of copying someone else's sensitivity and are expecting to be as good as them, then it's not going to work. But what you can do is you can take their settings as a reference and then make the changes accordingly. Hop into a creative map and then start free building. And while doing free builds, make sure to do some minor changes in your settings until and unless you become fully comfortable with your sensitivity. Make sure your settings is not very high to the point that you don't even realize what you're doing and make sure your settings is not very low to the point that you cannot even move properly. Here is my settings. If you want then you can take it as a reference and then later adjust it a little bit according to your personal preference. Also high ground retake tutorial coming soon on this channel so make sure you subscribe with the bell notifications turned on. Make sure you practice every little thing in creative so that it will be permanently set in your muscle memory. Also more complicated stuff like triple edit looks cool but I don't recommend you guys to go straight into triple edits if you are already struggling with double edits. What I mean is first you need to master your double edits so that you are fully confident while doing it and then later you can go towards triple edits. But if you find triple edits more complicated or you play on lower frames and it's not really possible for you to practice triple edits then double edits is also more than enough for you to win fights. Ok so after finding a comfortable settings for building and editing, now we need to check whether that setting is good for combat or not. So for that the best way to practice on is the Panville headshot only query map which I've already mentioned before. But there's also another way by which we can train our aim and our mechanics in Fortnite and it's not that hard either. So if you've watched any other how to improve at Fortnite type of videos then you've probably heard most people saying you need to grind arena or you need to hop into zone wars and you need to just keep practicing zone wars until you get better or you need to play with people that are generally higher skilled than you. Yeah all this is very much true and it will definitely help us become a better player but for the people who are still learning and are figuring out the ways to get better at this game it's not going to be a pleasant experience. If you're the type of player who is just thinking of grinding arena in order to get better at this game and when playing arena or any other competitive Fortnite games you're just dying off spawn and then leaving the game thinking you cannot be as good as other people. If that's you then you very well know what I'm talking about. 
So firstly what you guys need to understand is that in order to get better at this game, first you need to be able to beat people that are on same skill level as you. You need to train yourself to the point that when you fight any other player that are similarly skilled as you, then you're 100% winning that fight with full confidence. Remember that being confident and keeping faith in yourself is one of the biggest key to victory in Fortnite. Now onto the main topic how you can find similarly skilled players in Fortnite. And the answer is you can find decent players in BHE 1v1 map. I'm sure that most of us are already familiar with BHE 1v1 map because it's probably one of the most played creative maps in Fortnite history. It's too popular because in creative field you can play with 16 players and even if you got killed then there's infinite respawns. Now hear me out, most of the pros don't play BHE 1v1 creative fields. So in this map there will probably be one or two sweats and the others will be decently skilled players. So what I want you guys to do in your next BHE 1v1 session is that I want you to think that you are the best in the lobby. No matter how other players are playing the game, you need to keep in your mind that you are literally the best. By just keeping this kind of mentality throughout the game will make us win so many fights. So in order to get the most out of your BHE 1v1 session, what you guys need to do is that you guys have to give your 100% in the game. You wanna push every single player you see and even if you die while pushing, then there's nothing to worry about because there's again another chance to destroy that person. So the next time you're playing this kind of map then make sure to keep this positive mentality. This basically applies on every single game mode. If you think that you're able to dominate any creative session or any game modes, then you can switch over to pubs and then slowly move towards arena if you want to go into competitive Fortnite. So the last tip for today's video is to play with friends. Playing alone for a longer period of times makes it so much frustrating for us when we don't do better in games. So make sure you play with your friends and try to learn something from them as well. If you're struggling on finding teammates then you can join the Fortnite Android Discord server. It's the community filled with Android players so you can also find Android players to play with and also at the same time have fun with your Android buddies. And with that I'd like to end this video here. If you find any of these tips helpful, then please drop a like and also make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also drop any video ideas in the comments so I can take some inspirations from it. And lastly best of luck on your journey. It's been your boy Vintage Wizard and I hope to see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Feel the shock waves uh.